Hi, my name is Sotir Kichukov. Welcome to my channel, Combat and Performance Training. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to find a ultimate fight stance. Think about which is your dominant side, arm and leg. The usually is the arm you right and use to open the door. The leg is the one that you like to kick the ball. Okay, so in my case, I'm gonna put my right leg behind and I'm gonna look for the balance between my legs. I don't really look for any kind of measurements between my legs, but I'm only really focusing on that feeling. Feeling is understanding. So I'm moving side to side and feel if I have balance, then I'm moving forward backwards. With that being said, I never wanna put my legs in one line this way because I'm going to have balance forward and backwards but not side to side. The same thing here. I cannot stay like this because I'm going to have balance side to side, but not forward and backwards. Okay, so I really want to find this good fight stance so I have balance side to side, forward and backwards. And I'm going to teach you exercise how to improve that balance. Talk about arms, I just want you to relax your shoulder and from here, you're just gonna lift your elbows up. One arm is under the school bone. Tuck your elbow in. And the other arm is a little bit forward and I look over the front arm. Okay, need to be comfortable to block here easy. With, in this video, I'm not talking about defense and punching. It's all about fight stance. But remember, in the fight stance, you need to feel comfortable. So you are ready to move, you're ready to punch, you're ready to defense. So that's why we're just gonna drill today how to start making feeling comfortable in this fight stance. The first exercise I'm going to teach you is a hip mobility and stability. Stay in a square stance, put hands on the hip and start twisting side to side. I'm going to look the opposite side. Make sure when you twist, the opposite leg is stabling. Okay, from here also you're gonna feel stretch on the opposite hip. So you see this hip stretch and this leg stabling. Okay, that's how you kind of teach the body to put the weight on from side to side and mobilize the hip. 30 seconds you go in square stance twisting and then go back to fight stance twisting. But this time I'm going to look forward. Okay, this is the first exercise. So easy, you can go 30 seconds in square stance, 30 seconds in fight stance. The second exercise I'm going to show you is from your fight stance. Relax your arms, lift your elbows, keep hands up and start moving forward, backwards, side to side. So make sure you have balance in each of these four directions. Okay, just hang on here for a minute and start feeling your body weight forward, backwards, side to side. This is the second exercise, you're gonna do it for a minute. The third exercise I'm going to show you, it is uh, how to put the brakes. So basically we're stepping forward, single step, stepping backwards, stepping left, stepping right. Okay, so in fight stance, this look exactly like this. Step forward, step backwards, step left, step right, step forward, step backwards, step left, step right. I'm gonna show from different view, step forward, step backwards, step left, step right. This exercise also doing for a minute, gonna really help you how to shift the weight from one side to the other. The fourth exercise I'm going to show you, it's a basic footwork. The basic footwork, it's from your fight stance. So you're gonna step forward, step backwards, step to the left and step to the right. We can go a few steps. You can go five, 10 meters forward, five, 10 meters backwards and same to the left, same to the right. Here I'm going to show you just two steps forward, two steps backwards. Step forward, step forward, step backwards, step backwards. Step to the left, step to the left. Step to the right, step to the right. And here, the common mistake is when people run over and put legs together. 
we want to make sure to keep that good fight stance we already start feeling it so small step followed by small step how this works you see my rear leg pushing forward and I just add the leg behind so I not like running with the rear leg forward and put legs together because here if you punch me I'm going to lose balance okay rear leg pushing forward pushing forward when I go backwards my front leg is pushing backwards and I added the, the front leg my front leg pushing backwards and then add the leg the same thing is when you go side to side right leg pushing to the left boom I add the leg right leg pushing to the left left leg pushing to the right boom boom okay so I'm gonna show from both sides how it looks forward backwards and side to side backwards step to the left step to the right every time end up in exactly same position in the beginning it feels a bit weird but more you do it more natural become remember the goal is to feel comfortable in fight stance so you're ready to go at any time footwork defense striking when you have a good balance you're also gonna punch harder and you're gonna be faster the footwork drill is good to be done for at least two to three minutes usually is the time you're fighting the fifth exercise i'm going to show you it's just mixing the last three exercises together go to your fight stance lift your arms guards up and from here you start feeling your balance shifting side to side forward backwards side to side forward backwards and then we're gonna start putting the brakes putting the brakes you're gonna mix it up mix it up make sure you practice first couple of times and then we're gonna start actually mixing it okay from here we're gonna it's gonna look exactly like this moving step step I'm gonna show from the side view I want you also get this tip in the end make sure when you're stepping and when you're moving you're also breathing you maybe can hear me on the microphone how I'm exhaling with every step so it's like normal thing if you even walk for a minute you're not breathing you're still gonna get tired so make sure when you're doing the footwork and the movement you're breathing naturally every step basically exhale hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and if you like these videos write in the comments or comment anything i'll be happy to respond to you cheers